If you would have told me two years ago that I would be running an app that pays out thousands of dollars to creators and generates over $70,000 in volume every single month, I would have believed you because I've done it before and I'm doing it again using the exact same process every single time. In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how I validated the idea, built and scaled posted to $70,000 per month with no VC funding, no co-founders and an outsourced dev team, just one product solving one problem. I'm going to reveal absolutely everything about the app, the functionality, the tech stack, the onboarding screens, the user retention tactics, the revenue model, and more. So whether you're building an app, a SaaS product, a web app, or you're just thinking about starting, this is my entire journey from idea to where we are now with Posted. And just to prove it to you, here are the numbers from the last 12 months. We launched the project around 11 months ago, and now we are comfortably scaling to $70,000 conservatively per month. In March, we did 90K. In last month, we did close to $90,000. In this month so far of July, we've done $42,000 of volume. You can see the numbers today as well. We've done $1,000 so far today. Yesterday, we crossed 2,500. Okay, so here it is. From validating the idea all the way to the operations and scaling and our long-term vision of the product, this video is going to be extremely raw and I'm just gonna go through each step of the process. Again, from validating the idea all the way to scale. First, let's start off with what is Posted? Posted is the easiest way for brands and creators to connect. You can get content by launching a contest in which you put up a sum of money. Creators compete to get the most viral video for your brand. We also have deals, which are a risk-free way to get content. Creators will make content upfront for your brand and you only pay for it if you love it. Now, Posted is the most complex project I've ever built. It is a two-sided marketplace. We have a web app for brands that you can see right here. And we also have a mobile app for the creators. So we're building two separate products for two separate customer bases. So how did I come up with the idea for Posted? When I was building my previous app, PuffCount, and scaling it to $44,000 a month, I scaled PuffCount by sitting in my apartment, in my bedroom, making TikToks just like these, and I did this for years and years on end. And PuffCount got to a place where I couldn't make all the content that I needed anymore. So I started to reach out to creators to start to make content like this for me. And I found that the process was such a pain. I had to reach out to thousands of creators, only a few would get back to me. And when they did get back to me, they would send me outrageous quotes for content. I'm talking creators with 5,000 followers charging $2,000 for a single 30 second TikTok. And I knew that other brands were experiencing the same thing. If I could build a place where brands could get content from creators and they could interact with each other on one single platform, no emails, no back and forth, just here's what I want and the creators generating and giving that content to the brands, I knew this would be a good idea. Now, the real aha moment for me and what I knew was gonna set posted apart from any other platform was this concept of running content contests. If you know me, if you watch the channel, you know how much I love 99designs. With 99designs, you can put up an idea of a product and you will get a UI or designs built by 60, 70, 80 different designers and they will all compete to build the best design for your brand. So I thought, why on earth does this not exist for short form content? Why is there nowhere for me to get creators to compete to get the most viral video for my brand? And that was our first core feature was content contests. So boom, we had the idea. We had the idea validated. So what I did was start to sketch out the idea and what I thought the app would look like. These are the original sketches of Posted from years ago. But we took these designs and then we launched a design contest on 99designs. And that is how we got the UI that you see today on Posted app built for a couple hundred bucks. So these were the original designs that we got from 99designs. The version now looks slightly different, but a lot of the core elements here are what we pulled from 99designs. We got the full UI developed from 99designs and it had almost everything that we needed here. If we take a look at what the app looks like today, it is much, much more complex. Now we have the onboarding, we have the user experience, we have the retention, we have the profile, we have the creator wallet that we have built out. So I can actually walk through what it looks like to be a creator on Posted App, right? We have different tabs here. We have the contest, we have the deals, we have the CPM deals. We have little explainer videos up top. And as a creator, you can sort through all of our deals. Here is what the explainer videos look like. Who's that? Good looking, handsome young fellow there. Oh, it's me. Uh, 
We have all the details of how to shoot and submit your video and get paid on Posted App. The creators can watch these videos and understand a little bit more what the app looks like. Here are the contest details. We have the project overview, the rules, the resources. Again, the brand is setting all this up on the website. And we will take a look at the website and what it looks like for brands here in a second. And again, you know, as a creator, you can see the contest leaderboard, the contest details, etc. You can report another creator's submission as a creator. We have these different statuses for when your post is submitted, when the contest is over. We have your creator portfolio here what it looks like to post the video, et cetera. And again, that is just one flow in this massive app, in this massive project that we have built, but that is the core flow for creators. It's checking out the contest, checking out the deals, checking out the CPM deals and participating in those. So from the brand side, once you create your account and get started, this is what you see. There's little explainer videos about deals, which is our risk-free way to get content. And we also have an explainer video on contests. So you can watch each one of these videos and you can learn a little bit more about what to expect in contests and deals. And if you want to create a contest or a deal, you can go in here and you can start to create your deal. And again, we have tutorial videos at every step of the process. We also have the creator database here. So as a brand, you can actually go through and invite any one of our 36,000 creators on the platform. You can invite them to your active contest or deal. You can filter by niche here. You can filter uh, by a bunch of different things. You can show our posted best creators. You can check out their portfolio content here or about the creators. On April 15th. And that is that you have your brand page as well. That's it. It's very simple on the brand side. At first we launched a scrappy MVP built in Flutter because it was more cost effective and quicker to build in Flutter, which is a drag and drop no code app builder. It was rough, but it worked. We were able to get feedback very quickly but to be honest with you, the Flutter version was not stable at all. As we started to onboard creators and more brands onto the Flutter version, we ran into so many limitations. So we made the very difficult and expensive decision to switch the entire code base over to React. And it took a long time. It took like two and a half months to switch over the entire code base. And in that period of time, we weren't building any new features. But let me tell you, it was so worth it because now we have a much more scalable and stable project. Would I recommend building an MVP on some no-code app builder? 100%. It allows you to get the MVP out there much quicker at a much more cost-effective price point, and you can test the viability of your product. Okay, so we have gone through all the features and functionality, both for brands and creators. They collaborate together through contest deals, CPM deals, and the creator database, of course. Now, the most important part is how can we gamify posted? How can we make it super easy to use? How can we educate the creators to make the best content possible and keep coming back to the app, right? Because if creators come onto the app and they're confused, they are never ever going to come back ever again. And the number one metric that we optimize for is a creator getting their first cash out. Once a creator gets paid one time, they never leave the platform. Now, the way we do that is through educating users educating our creators and gathering data about them on the onboarding. So as a creator, when you first download posted, you see these couple screens here and we need to update these. There's always small things to do. We tell them what contests are. We should be telling them what deals and CPM deals are, but we haven't uh, designed these screens yet. Then after that, once we've explained the core features of the app, you are prompted to watch this video. And again, you can skip this video, but the short video introduction explains why posted is the best app for creators. So creators are able to watch this video and then they are able to give us some information and build their account, select their niches and turn on push notifications. This is huge for retention. We're getting them to invest time in building their profile, selecting their niches, customizing their experience. And we're also gathering information on the user uh, and details so that we can remarket to them. And again, turning on the push notifications is huge so that we can notify them every single time a new campaign or opportunity for them to get paid is live. Reactivating the users, getting them back on the app and participating, and again, pushing the creators to their very first cash out is the most important part. So we covered the onboarding flow and the user retention tactics. We send push notifications to the creators to get them reactivated on the app, and we also do heavy email marketing. So we're always notifying the creators of new opportunities via the email that they gave us on the onboarding flow. All these details here that the creators give us, we reuse 
to reactivate them through email marketing as well. Now, our revenue model and pricing strategy. For brands, we have a completely free trial. So as a brand, you can come onto the platform, you can try it out, you can run contests or deals. There's no platform fee during your free trial with our main goal being that the brands experience value before they have to pay anything, right? Brands can come onto our platform, launch a deal, see content from real content creators for free, and they only have to pay if they love the content. As far as the creator side, we take a transaction fee on all creator cash outs. One of the most complex features that we have built is our creator wallet. So each creator has their own dedicated wallet inside the mobile app. And every time they cash out their earnings from a contest, a deal, a CPM deal, whatever it is, we take a transaction fee on that cash out. Okay, tracking the analytics at every single stage in the app is the most important part. From the onboarding, tracking the drop-off rate between different screens, to how many users are submitting content, how many users are being reactivated via the push notifications. We track absolutely everything and we do it through Amplitude. And there's one graph that I can show you here. Of course, I'm not gonna show you all the detailed analytics of the product. Some of those I gotta keep close to the chest, but one I'm very happy to show you is what percent of our active creators are returning creators. We had a huge update here with our creator notifications that drove this number way higher. Most of our active users are actually returning users. These are creators who have come back to the app more than one time. And this is a very positive signal for us. It means that our creator retention is getting better over time. Okay, so how have we acquired 40,000 creators for the Posted mobile app? We have actually acquired them by using the product itself. We are using Posted to scale Posted, like this contest right here. This is one of our contests that we have run. We put up $3,000 for the contest. And as you can see, we got 97 submissions from different creators. So we have the project overview. We have some rules here where we want the creators to be from. And then we had some inspiration content of viral stuff in our niche that we could share to the creators. And this piece of content right here is actually our best performing piece of content on paid ads. So this is a creator named Alyssa. She won first place in this contest. And again, we own the ad code and we own the rights to the MP4 file of this video forever for life. I'll show you a couple other good examples here because we got a bunch of winning content uh, that we were able to run on paid ads. This one from Kira was amazing too. This one crushes for us on paid ads. We're using deals as well. We're using our own deals feature to further scale the app. If you can see here, we've accepted 18 pieces of content. This one got 26,000 views. This one got 12,000 views. This one got 56,000 views. This creator has 700 followers and she got 50,000 views okay, on a so video about posted. This video absolutely crushed for us views. Another one of my favorite pieces of content that we've gotten from our deals feature is this creator, Blake. The most high quality piece of content I think we've gotten yet on this deal. We have a bunch more here to review. We can ask for revisions or we can ask for a different price point on this content. As far as marketing and acquisition goes, on the brand side, we have spent absolutely zero dollars on paid ads. All of our brand side traffic has come through my personal brand, either my YouTube or my Twitter, or brands referring their friends, which is an amazing sign and an amazing signal and especially important for a bootstrap company like ours. We don't have to spend any money on paid ads acquiring brands. As far as the team goes, it is one of the biggest teams that I've ever managed, which has been a challenge for me as an entrepreneur and as a founder, but I've loved every second of it. My team means the world to me. They're like family at this point. We have four devs on the team, one of them, including our CTO, Yuri. We have one head of product. His name is Zach. We have two people on the sales team, Tom and David. We have one creator manager and we have me, the founder of the project. Now look, building this project has been very complex. It is a two-sided marketplace. Again, the most complex project I've ever built and it hasn't been all roses and sunshine. We have had brands who have not gotten the best results on their contests, on their deals or whatever, and they get upset, but that's okay. Whenever you're launching a new product or a new business, you're not gonna be able to make everyone extremely happy. But what you can do is take that feedback and learn from it and try to build a better and better and better product every single day. And that's exactly what we do. As far as our long-term vision for Posted goes, we're not here to build a simple feature contests or deals or CPM deals. We are building the ad platform of the future. We want brands to be able to come on a posted, spend money effectively and get a return on that spend. So in the next six to 12 months, we're heads down focused on building, getting more brands on the platform, more creators on the platform, 
and more results on the platform. If you're a brand or a creator and you want to check out and use Posted, go ahead and click on the link in the description. It is absolutely free to start and try. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be dropping videos just like this where I share my entire journey. I explain my thought process, how I'm doing things, how we're building, how we're scaling. If you stuck around this long, I would definitely appreciate a like on the video as well.